Well, welcome to the White House for your sixth straight <laughs> Commander-in-Chief trophy. Uh, by now, you guys uh, know your way around here better than I do. Uh, I want to uh, thank uh, everybody who's here. Uh, obviously, uh, we want to thank the Superintendent, uh, Vice Admiral Jeffrey Fowler, Coach Ken, thank you. We were just talking. Uh, he's another local boy from Hawaii. Uh, he's, he's, he's four years younger than me, but, uh, but apparently we've got some mutual friends. Um, congratulations to the co-captains, uh, Clint and, and Jared, uh, for your outstanding season. Uh, a few other acknowledgments here. We've got uh, Congressman Dutch uh, Ruppesberger. Where, where's, where's Dutch? There he is right there. Good to see you. Congressman Eric Massa. Good to see you, Eric. Uh, Congressman John Sarbanes, right here. Uh, we have uh, B.J. Penton, the Acting Secretary of the Navy. Good to see you, sir. Uh, and I want to extend a special welcome to Lieutenant Commander Wesley Brown, Class of 1949. Where, there he is right here. Please stand. Wesley was the Academy's first African-American graduate. He served his country for 25 years, and the brand new state-of-the-art Wesley Brown Fieldhouse will ensure that class after class of midshipmen know his legacy for decades to come. So we are very proud of you, sir. Uh, thank you so much for your attendance here today. Uh, the midshipmen, they've got a lot to be proud of, as we know. Six straight bowl games, six consecutive wins over Air Force, uh, most importantly, seven straight wins over Army. <laughs> what can I do? I'm not, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> the, uh, you showed incredible perseverance against Temple uh, when you trailed by 20 with nine minutes to go. Tied it, won it in overtime. You won an incredible upset over Wake Forest. Even if they got you back at the Eagle Bank Bowl, we won't talk about that. Uh, often overshadowed by your fearsome offense is the most improved defense in the nation. And these seniors uh, who are behind us should be, especially be proud. Uh, four straight NCAA rushing titles, team rushing titles, something no team has ever done before. In four years, 33 wins, and again, no losses to Army or Air Force. Uh, I understand your unofficial motto is, no excuses, nobody cares. <laughs> that is uh, my wife Michelle's motto for me also. <laughs> but I know uh, that's what makes uh, Navy football so special. You suit up and you play each week against some of the top teams in the country and you refuse to let that excuse you from taking the coursework or your military training seriously. And that's why I'm so proud of this team uh, for leading the NCAA in graduation rates for four straight years, the most important statistic of the midshipmen. In fact, I want to congratulate the entire Navy Athletic Department because as a whole, Navy Athletics has led the nation in graduation rates four years in a row. And that's an extraordinarily, uh, extraordinary accomplishment. So I want to congratulate Coach Ken, uh, as I said, from my original home state. Also the first Samoan American head coach in the history of Division 1A, uh, just the third Navy coach since World War II to have a winning record in his first season. Uh, your starting quarterback is also Hawaiian. Where is he? Kaipo. Where is he? This guy right here. How's it? <laughs> I hear Kaipo is a pretty easy-going guy. He doesn't get rattled easily, performs under pressure. That's the Hawaiian spirit. That's, that's how we roll. Uh, I've been watching uh, Mel Kuyper getting ready for this uh, weekend's NFL draft. Where is he? Mel? No? Uh, I understand that Eric, uh, Eric Katani? Where is Eric? Right here? One of the top-rated fullbacks in the nation. He's a big guy. Uh, Shun White and uh, Tyree Barnes are serious pro prospects as well. Where are they? 
these guys? Okay, but yeah, they, they look good also. <laughs> uh, but like all uh, 32 seniors on this team, uh, they're preparing to trade one proud uniform for another, and that's the United States of America's uniform. And even though uh, all of you have won 13 straight against the guys at West Point and Colorado Springs, you're all joining the same team now. You know, football, uh, it's said, makes boys into men. But the academy makes men and women into leaders. And the bonds that you've built and the lessons that you've learned on that field and in your four years by the bay have prepared you to join and lead the finest fighting force in the history of the world. So I want all of you to know that I have no greater honor or greater responsibility than serving as your commander in chief. I'm proud of you, and I promise you this, from the minute you put on that uniform to the minute you take it off, and for all the days of your life, this country will stand behind you and will be there for you because we know that you will be there for us. So God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, give me a helmet. <laughs>